All right, so it's been a minute. I haven't been posting as much. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on. I just got done moving and stuff, but we're coming back and we're, we're about ready to start making some new videos. But today we're gonna be talking about bushings and how they affect and what they affect with your board. A lot of people probably already know, but there's some nuancey stuff that uh, you can look at with your bushings that just give you some stuff to think about, if you care. Man, my flip tricks are on the struggle bus today. All right, so back in February, I was playing around with the ideas of making custom bushings, and there's a reason for that. The guy at Good Roads, he had some good ideas around making a mold and all that stuff. I'll link his channel in the description because he is pretty much the reason I was able to even figure this out in an affordable manner. But basically what I've got are a bunch of dies for different kinds of bushings. So, but uh, we're gonna get this ready, get a mold made. So now that we'll have a full blown mold, we'll actually be able to pour the urethane and actually make bushings. Now, why did I randomly decide to start uh, making my own bushings back in February? Well, I was kind of trying to figure out a way to make the thunders turn a little better. And that's why I had like a custom cone shape on the bottom barrel bushing. And there was a couple of other little things that I was tweaking to try and get it to work right. Ended up switching to the Ventures anyway. Now recently, when I was doing the Ace Hard bushings video, I figured, well, maybe I can make the Ventures turn a little better if I, one, cut down the size just a little bit, because that's basically what the loose truck conversion kit for Ventures is, is just the bushings are shaved down like a fraction of an inch. And then also using two different hardnesses. Now, unfortunately, I do not have uh, a different hardness because according to the website and everything I can find, Ventures stock bushings durometer is like 90A, which is exactly what the urethane that I have is. Why didn't you just buy the loose bushings kit? Yeah, I know. Uh. Okay, so it's been long enough now that we can actually pull it out of the pot and see what our final bushings are gonna look like. Haha. -ha. All right, there we go. Not too bad. We don't have any bubbles on the inside. It's not very like it's not like cloudy or cracked. Um, it's actually pretty good. This looks like a really good bushing. Finished bushings. Now, while I might not be able to skate these right now, uh, they'll probably need a full day to like 
secure. My bushings are just a hair shorter than the stock bushings I have. Not a whole lot. You could probably barely see it. You probably can't even see it on camera. I can barely feel it with my fingers. They're really honestly, it could be just due to shrinkage. Anyway, they're just a hair shorter. It says that this durometer for this urethane I used is 90. I'm hoping it's a little bit softer than that because if it is, I might be able to get away with using stock bushings on the bot are on the top and a softer one on the bottom or vice versa alrighty so it's been a few days since I made the bushings I wanted to let them fully cure and actually get real hard before I actually put them in because if I did them on a half cure they just feel awful I've, I've tried these bushings that I've made out a couple of times I've never skated them for more than one session and I've kind of had issues with them being real, real soft. So I'm wondering if they're gonna help a lot on the ventures, but basically we're just gonna swap them out and we're gonna see how they feel. Getting into some of the finer points about bushings, some of the things that they help or uh, improve, obviously is one, turnability. Most people know that. But one thing that a lot of people don't know is it actually tweaks your wheelbase just a little bit. So if you have your truck in your base plate, it's designed to be in a certain area. Now, this can actuate back and forth ever so slightly based on bushing height. And if you notice, the axle moves back and forth. Might be kind of hard to see with this camera, but it's really, really slight. And honestly, making micro adjustments to your kingpin is not really gonna be super noticeable on board. Just one weird nuancey thing that most people don't realize. I would go as far as to say you've never seen a venture turn like that. That's insane. But it's like a weird insane. But they're almost like too turny. There's not a whole ton, a whole lot of like rebound. Like I would almost bet that if I actuated them, they'd stay. Sort of. They have, they have kind of a slow rebound. So maybe this is the wrong kind of urethane in general. Maybe that's my problem. I don't know, we'll give them a whirl for a little bit, see what happens. I can't get a kickflip that I like, and I'm noticing something. So, if you look really closely, there is already some internal cracking starting in the bushings. But if you look closely, you can see a gap. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but as you can see, they also stick quite a bit. So, I'm kind of thinking I need to tighten them. Okay, I think I've tuned them to a point where I can actually skate them. Uh, the issue that I'm having right now is actually that this, the response time on these is really slow. Uh, like it doesn't rebound right, which is probably due to the urethane. But one side factor is it also makes it extremely twitchy, kind of like aces. We'll do some kick flips and some tray flips, see what happens. Um, I think right now the bushing idea is kind of still out the window. I don't think I'm going to make any more just simply because I don't think they work as well as bushings that you buy, unless I can get a hold of better urethane. Problem is, there's not a whole lot of information about what kind of urethane to get. Now, doing this in the past, I've only ever done this on the Thunders, and I've skated a couple different sets of the Thunder ones. And the reason I didn't stick with them is because they made the board feel really off and really weird. I'm kind of getting that same feeling here, and I, at first I thought it was maybe just my geometry was off, or maybe it was just me needing to break them in. I kind of think it's more the urethane than anything right now. Alrighty, so with the crook, it uh, the time between like when you're on the ledge and when you pinch, was shorter. These bushings I don't think are quite as hard as they need to be. I don't think they're a true 90A and I think that's part of the reason. But that was also part of the goal. So now I think I'm gonna swap out the bottom bushing to kind of give me more of that venture stability and see if that fixes my problem a little bit. So 
So immediately I'm noticing they are a lot more turny, but they, and they have a little bit more of that venture feel. They're not quite as uh, twitchy. One more discovery that kind of condemns the urethane I'm using. Crook pop-outs feel way more responsive with the venture bottom bushing in, which is kind of an interesting thing. I wasn't expecting to figure that out. So we've learned a couple things. Either the urethane I'm using is just way too soft and the urethane rating, like the durometer rating is just way off. And if they are the same hardness, there is a big difference between the urethane used for skateboarding bushings and the urethane that I popped and that I probably like the stock bushings better anyway. So I think I'm just gonna switch back to the stockers. I was hoping to kind of maybe also solve the issue about how there's a lot of like issues getting bushings right now. So anyway, use stock venture bushings. They're way better, don't try to make your own. Anyway, if you guys like how I like to make things way harder than they need to be and uh, make dumb videos about them, drop me a like, drop me a sub, helps out a lot. Anyway, we're gonna switch back to the adventure bushings that I had on originally and get some actual skateboarding in because I'm not real satisfied with the way that felt. Mark my words, one day soon I will have those good. We're gonna move on for now though. So the kind of urethane I used was the SRC Flex at 90. So if anybody has a better urethane that they've used and had good luck with, if you've gone on this same journey, let your boy know. I would love to see if I could figure this out. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me make everything way harder than it needs to be. I know sometimes it's a drag, but you know, causes for some fun stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.